She was the star at John Travolta's side in the legendary film musical, Grease. Olivia Newton-John sang herself into the hearts of an entire generation as Sandy Olsen with Summer Nights and You're the One That I Want. Today, the Australian is over 70 and looks back not only on a successful career, but also on a life full of hardships. Let's delve into the tragic moments in Olivia's life. Off California's coast, the blonde's former partner suddenly disappeared without a trace under mysterious circumstances. At that time, it was concluded that Patrick McDermott drowned during his fishing trip. But years later, a private investigator working for a US TV show claimed that Patrick was living in Mexico with a new girlfriend. Since he was heavily in debt, it was possible that Patrick faked his death. However, there was no evidence presented as to whether Patrick McDermott is dead or alive. The next mysterious incident came in 2013. A man died in the house where Olivia lived with her second husband. According to reports, it was a contractor who committed suicide. The famous singer and her husband, Matt Latanzi, were not in the house at the time and the property was up for sale. Probably the greatest tragedy in Olivia Newton-John's life is her exhausting fight against her greatest enemy, cancer. Even before her own diagnosis, the actress has experienced loss from the disease. In the early 90s, she lost her goddaughter, who was only four years old. Shortly afterward, Olivia's father also died of the disease. Only one week after her father's passing, Olivia was diagnosed with breast cancer. This was followed by extensive and exhaustive treatments. Then in 2013, her cancer resurfaced, but she kept it private. In the same year, Olivia lost her sister because of a brain tumor. I will miss her forever, my beautiful, smart, talented, funny, brave sister Rona. Olivia managed to defy cancer a second time, but in 2017, a third diagnosis came. Olivia Newton-John's breast cancer this time had spread to her spine. The doctors told her that her cancer had progressed to an incurable stage. Despite the ongoing fight against cancer, the singer remained optimistic in September 2019. I'm happy. I'm lucky. I'm grateful. I have much to live for, and I intend to keep doing it. Olivia Newton-John is continuing her battle, and we wish the Grease star all the best in the future.